Hi, it's Faceless Tech. Uh, I don't know if you know, but I'm on uh, a journey to make a uh, Pie Girl 2, which is a uh, Adafruit's uh, pod product. It's uh, like a 3D printed Game Boy that has a Raspberry 3 as its um, core. Uh, it runs at virtually any games up to about Nintendo 64, I think. Um, just been at the moment just waiting for parts to come in, collecting bits and bobs, doing a bit of research. Because um, when I first looked into this project, um, the only problem I seen with it was that the buttons that everyone was using were I didn't use this one as an example of the sound with these horrible clicky normal buttons and I thought I'm not going to be playing a Game Boy when I'm you know you're clicking around and it's oh, just they just listen to them they're just horrible so anyway I looked around on the Adafruit's website and they sell these uh, soft buttons they're more of like a uh, membrane type button that you used to and they are perfectly soundless and they just feel like the like a gamepad, you know, the membrane on a gamepad. Um but I seen one problem. Um normally the buttons they sell to go with these are six mil uh buttons. Um and if you look on the website, they'll tell you these are actually eight mil. So I thought, well, how is everyone um because I've seen some sellers, eBay sellers that use these buttons, I thought, how are they actually attaching these? Because they obviously aren't gonna fit because they're two mil too big. Um, they'll fit one way, but not the length ways. And on the Adafruit website, this is the only photograph they show, which is, I find is just absolutely shocking that they sell a product. And this is the kind of picture that they show as an example of someone's holding them on. Um, I looked, tried to look everywhere. I even contacted an eBay seller, which told me they buy actually seven mil buttons and they just about fit. Um, and then I, I, a couple of days ago, <coughs> excuse me, a couple of days ago, I had a bit of an epiphany. Buttons, um, they only really cared about two, two, two of the contacts. Um, if you put, uh, I'll show you on my, these buttons, the lengthways, as I'm calling them, the eight mil apart ones, they're just always connected. But if you have the ones side by side, they only come, they only get connected when you press them. So then I thought, I'll have a look around on the, um, oops, just want my leads now. I'll have a look around on the Adafruit Pygo board, just to, you know, see if these, see if I'd have to actually attach all the pins. And it comes around, but if you look carefully, you can see the traces coming to the bottom pin which is, and then there's the other one that is connected to ground. These top two are not actually connected to anything, which I'll prove it. If you look, uh, you're gonna connect to this ground pin. If you connect the bottom one, you can hear it on there, on there. That's actually connected to the ground. Top one, it's connected to nothing. They're not actually connected to anything. So then I thought, why not just cut the pins off one side and just connect the bottom pins and voila, you'll get a nice flat button. I don't know why even Adafruit themselves haven't actually thought about this. I've not seen anyone out there do it. Even maybe even the eBay sellers aren't aware of this. It would save them a lot of time and money because um, these buttons aren't that expensive and, and the, the guy I spoke to on eBay was mass buying them in bulk from uh, China. So he wasn't, he wasn't re uh, gonna tell me the source either. He was a bit coy about it, which to be fair, trying to protect his business. But yeah, if anyone out there, if this may help you, I haven't actually tried it because I've got all the rest of the stuff I'm still waiting for the screen, the case and everything else. But if this works out, this could be huge. Um, which could help a lot of people out. I'm not sure if the pins will actually fit. I might have to shave the sides down to get them to fit next to each other. Like on that Adafruit photo. Um, if you notice, that looks like they've shaved some of the pins, some of the sides of the plastic down to get it in. So, um, yeah, I'll keep you posted. I just thought I'd post this quick uh, epiphany um, discovery that I found, and uh, hopefully it helps someone out. But uh, uh, as usual, there'll be links in the description uh, to other videos that I'm going to do on this series, uh, trying to get on the quest to get a Pi Girl 2 up and running. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.